Hi everyone, so if you don't know by now, Jaspay has open positions so for software engineering internship right now. And in this video, we'll be getting to know how you can apply, what is the eligibility, and what is the entire process with which you can crack Jaspay's internship. So first of all, let me tell you, whenever there's an off-campus opportunity, I make a video on it on this channel. And not only I give you the opportunity, but I tell you how to get shortlisted and I tell you how to crack the internship or the opportunity as well. So if you're a college student or if you're a fresher looking for a full-time or internship, please subscribe to the channel. I'll be bringing a lot of off-campus opportunities and I'll give you a complete guide on how to crack them. So make sure that you subscribe to the channel. So first thing first, what is the eligibility? So if you're in your final year or if you're in your pre-final year, then you are eligible for the internship. So you can apply for the internship. And of course, the link to apply is in the description box along with the resources. But make sure that you watch the entire video before you apply so that you have the maximum chance of getting shortlisted and so you know the entire process with which you can track the internship. So only apply after watching the entire video. All right. So the first thing will be resume shortlisting. And of course, you'll have to submit your resume with the application. And let me tell you how you can maximize your chances of the shortlisting. So first of all, this is in the domain of backend. So if you have full stack projects, and if you have backend or projects in your resume, then that will give you an edge over other candidates. And if you've worked with Java and Python, then again, put that in your resume. That is also important. That will also give you an edge over other candidates. JavaScript as well, if you've worked in full stack or backend, then that also you can put in your resume. Now, the ATS score of your resume matters a lot because JustPay is very, very, very particular about the resume shortlisting. So you need to make sure that your resume has a high ATS score, a proper template, proper spacing, proper font, and everything is proper in your resume. And if you want to get your resume reviewed by me, then I'll give a link to my top mate as well. I also do resume reviews in case if you want. But in a nutshell, you need to have proper projects in your resume. If you have a back-end project, if you have a full stack project, highlight it. If you have knowledge of Java, Python, highlight it. And if you have any hackathon experience or if you have any open source experience, then highlight that as well because again that is something that can get you an edge over other candidates apart from that if you have any data science project or if you've worked with data and data analysis or data science or data engineering then you can put that as well in your resume because data is also one of their domain so if you have data experience also highlight that in your resume that will also increase your chances of getting shortlisted so in a nutshell these are the things that you need to do to make sure that your resume is just pay ready now let's talk a bit about the procedure afterwards, what will happen in the interview or what you can expect. Now this is also going to be very important because JustPay does not have the traditional interview or the traditional hiring process or other companies. JustPay has a different process so make sure that you watch so you don't miss out on the interviews. So the first thing that JustPay usually starts off with is an assignment round. So you might get an assignment on a variety of things. You might get it on front end, back end or data. But of course, this is a back-end internship. So most probably you'll get an assignment on back-end or you might get an assignment on data or something even related. So you need to be good in back-end. You need to have a good hand in back-end. I'll give some resources in the description box that you can use. And of course, you get time for building the assignment. So you have time to even learn and do the assignment. It's not going to be very strict that you have to do in one hour or two hours. You'll get proper amount of time. And by the way, if you want to know the interview experience of JustPay in depth, then I've made three different interview experiences videos of JustPay. All of those will be in the description box so you can watch them as well. But in a nutshell, you have the assignment round and then you have the hackathon round. Now, hackathon round is something that JustPay is very, very well known for. So this is something sort of DSA related. So you have an entire day process in which you'll have part A and part B and you'll have a variety of things in this, right? So it will be like an entire day process where they'll be asking you in a meeting multiple things. They'll be giving you DSA problems. Now, let me tell you important topics for JustPay. So you have tree. Tree is one of the most important DSA topic for JustPay. Let me tell you, in any interview experience you open, you will see JustPay asking a tree question. So you have tree, you have graph. These two are extremely important. You have standard DP. So you should read standard DP problems. They can ask you questions on that. Apart from that, of course, array and strings, this is common in everywhere. And heap is also a very important topic here. You might get questions on heap. So these are the most important topics. Of course, I'll give you some just pay tagged interview questions in the description box. So you can practice from there, practice some good DSA problems from there as well. Apart from that, they'll be asking you multiple questions related to your tech stack, related to your resume. 
So make sure whatever you put in your resume, you have a very good knowledge of that. Make sure that you don't put anything in your resume that you're not confident about. So even if you put something in your resume that you've exaggerated, make sure that you have the knowledge to back it up. Okay, at least till the point of the interview. Okay, so they will ask you questions in your resume. They will ask you questions about your projects, the what, the how and the why. These three questions will be there related to your project. So again, you can practice that as well. And DSA, you will have multiple cases, you'll have multiple optimization. So you need to be very clear with your thought process. Okay, and you can expect some multi-threading concepts here as well. So whatever language you're using, make sure that you're well aware of multi-threading and concurrency. So if you're a Java guy, I'll give some good resources about multi-threading in the description box. Apart from that, you have CS fundamentals as well. So CS fundamentals here is extremely important. You will be getting questions on object-oriented programming. You will be getting questions on DBMS. This is a back-end role, so you need to be good with DBMS. You need to be good with SQL. And you need to have a little bit of experience handling databases. All right. And of course, the resources for learning all of these will be in the description box. Apart from that, you will be asked questions on other topics like CN or OS. Although it may not be, although it may not be as much as the first two, but CN and OS is still important. So again, I'll give some resources for these as well. Apart from that, you'll have the standard HR round, the standard managerial round in which they'll be asking you standard HR questions standard managerial question, scenario based question that you can easily prepare on from any website. And after this, you'll be able to get to the internship. And let me tell you the best part about JustPay. JustPay has a very, very, very good conversion rate to PPO. So you can get in as an intern and then you can end up as a full time employee with a pay grade of 27 LPA plus. So make sure that you apply ASAP using the link in the description box and make sure that you subscribe for more off campus opportunities.